Hey guys, I'm YJ, Body Office Worker Channel. This video is from a lecture in August 2020 given by Dr. Takashi Tsuji of Riken, the world's leading expert in hair follicle regenerative medicine. I'm going to explain how far hair follicle regenerative medicine has come. First of all, what is a hair follicle regenerative medicine? If you are a fan of this, here is a video that explains the mechanism. I'll post a list to it in overview section. AGA calls hard hair to change into soft hair growth, which result in a bold look. When hard hair changes to soft hair, the number of hair follicles does not actually change. Only the thickness and length of the hair has changed. Hair growth drugs and inhibitors Topical minoxidil, finasteride, and dutasteride take an approach that makes hair less likely to grow back. The problem here is that when you stop taking the medication, you will return to baldness. For some people, the medication also stops working. Surgical hair transplantation involves transplanting healthy hair from back of the head that is less likely to grow into hair growth at the hairline or top of the head. The problem here. The problem here. The problem here is that there is a limit to the number of hairs on the back of the head to the transplanted. The great thing about the hair regenerative medicine is that it is possible to increase the number of hair itself by taking hair producing cells from the back of the head, growing them in bed and then transplanting the cultured cells to the scrub. It is also possible to grow hair where there were original no hair follicles. Hair grown by hair follicle regenerative medicine will fall out and grow back in the same ways as other hair and will repeat the process of falling out and growing back. 2011 to 2018 established a technology to culture hair follicle stem cell in three dimensions over seven years. It is possible to increase the number of cells by 100 times in 20 days. 2016 to 2018 established a technology for the stabilization and mass production of the hair regeneration unit or newly created hair roots which take two years to transplant. Made the size and the shape uniform just like the product you buy at the convenience store. June 2018, the established manufacturing and quality control has been completed. July 2018, no clinical study, the safety of the product was confirmed in mice. Is it not toxic? Wouldn't that be cancerous? Does it have any chromosomal abnormalities? Is there anything else usual about it? 2020, after approval by the Commission for Specified Accredited Regenerative Medicine, we will begin clinical trials in humans. Rest for the information to be released for HC as a safety confirmation is expected to be completed in a human clinical trial for HC's approval of self-founded medical treatment and the Pharmaceutical Affair Act are expected to be completed. For XES future where we will have normal access to hair regenerative medicine. Let's all support hair follicle regenerative medicine to create new hair follicle and overcome baldness. The most people the funds that support it, the faster and the cheaper the research will surely be and the lower the cost will be hair growth product, hair transplants and many other measures. But if you add hair follicle regenerative medicine to the mix, I hope you will do your best to help people who want to overcome baldness to have more options. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please subscribe to my channel and please good button. See you later. Bye.